All right, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, we want to give all praises on the glory to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushua, Bahashim, Kakadash. Peace, blessing, and grace unto the brothers out there pushing the new covenant. And once again, peace, blessing, and grace to the believers out there that believe upon the names of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushua, and the men that's pushing the true gospel of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahushua. All right, we're here once again, you know, uh, another Sunday, and we're just here to go through the spirit, right? So we're going to start off with Hebrews, the sixth chapter, because the what, what, one thing that's missing in Israel, and you know, they, 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 they like to come up against you when you speak on this topic. They like to call you a Christian, but it's love. The love aspect is missing, all right? And you know, with that being said, that, that, that shows you, without the love, you're, you're basically, uh, uh, you're blocked from a lot of things, all right? You're blocked, you're mentally blocked. Like, like the scripture talks about how Pharaoh's heart was hardened, all right? It's the same with a lot of these Israelites, man. All right, so with that, we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna start off with Hebrews 6. This is the book of Hebrews 6 and 9. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you and things that accompany salvation. It says things that accompany salvation, all right? So in the process of us obtaining the goal, which is salvation, there's things that we are to do, and the Lord told us how we are to do it, all right? It's, 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 it's specific. It's all throughout the scriptures, all right? Got it, brother. Though we thus speak, for the Lord is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love. All right, so brothers, the thing... This is talking about getting a sign, getting a garment, grabbing your Bible, going on the highways, and just teaching. All right, but no, that's not that's not that's not the main thing that the Lord's talking about. All right, what the Lord is talking about is that that work and labor of love is how you treat your brother, how you deal with each other. All right, it says it's going to continue. Say, read it one more time, right from the top. Matter of fact, to back you too before I reread it, the blue letter for love is affection, goodwill, love, benevolence. Brotherly love. That's why it says goodwill, right? You have good intent towards your brother. And that's the thing that, that when you read, uh, especially in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, you know, you have men whose mind was far from from from, uh, from Yahweh Bar Shem El Shai, right? In the sense of, they didn't care, they didn't care about their brother, all right? That's why they did certain things, like for instance, uh, committing adultery, you know, doing these things. That, 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 that love wasn't there. The love towards Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah wasn't there. If you have to meditate on, damn, I gotta grab this turtle dove and sacrifice this, but I'm about to go make this act or do this wicked act, right? That's not that's not love. So when the Lord, the Lord is right now, He's giving us the, the, the proper mindset, which is what a good intent, giving us the, the, the right way to do things. That love that's shown towards His name. Continue, bro. Call Hebrews six and ten again. For the Lord is not a righteous to forget your work and labor of love which he have showed toward his name. Towards his name, all right? So what you do? We ought to represent Yahweh Hashem Yahushua in the best way possible, right? And what better way to do it with love, all right? In, in that ye have ministered to the saints and do minister. And we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. And that word minister goes on to say, uh, serve, right? So we ought to serve each other. Right in love. That's why Yahweh Shai, when he was on the scene, he he was he was the head of the church. He was the top number one that was teaching the, the, the disciples who later became the apostles. And he washed their feet. Well, he was in the act of service unto the disciples. The disciples, right? So once again, that we are to minister towards each other. Read that one more time, brother. Quran, it says, and we desire that every one of you do show the same diligence to the full assurance of hope unto the end. And if I can add, the blue letter for diligence is haste with haste earnestness earnestness in accomplishing promoting or striving after anything to give diligence interest oneself more earnestly right because guess what when you stand before that seat the judgment uh the, the, the great white throne judgment right guess what yahweh shah's gonna look at you and say yo why didn't you do this with your brother why didn't you help your brother out right the scripture says if you do it to one of my little ones you have done it unto me all right and a lot of people do shit half-assed it goes back like you said bro about carnal right about being carnal, right? They're doing shit half-assed. They, that's why you see men of the world, when they do these acts of service or, or, or these or arms or whatever, charity, yep. they got to have the camera out. Yep. All right? It's not, it's not sincere. You know? But what, that's, that's, that's the difference between those, the true believers of Yahweh about Shimei all right? You ain't got to, you ain't got to display this and put this out there to the world to show that you, you helped your brother out. And the arms too ain't just only money. You can give your time. You know what I'm saying? You can give a brother advice. That's all. You know what I'm saying? You can, you, whatever struggle that brother needs, or I mean, whatever that that struggle that brother's going through, 
and that help that you can provide, that's your arms right there. Uh, I got peace, bro. Go ahead, brother. Uh, John, uh, 1 John chapter 4, verse 1. Beloved, let us love one another. For love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God, and knoweth God. He that loveth not, knoweth not God, for God is love. Look, so right there, it's telling you, he that loveth is of God, right? So it's showing you, like, and, and you got men out here pushing hate to a level of, it, it, it's showing you the disconnect. It's showing you the disconnect. These men can't be of God if you're constantly pushing hate, all right? And you're going to ridicule someone that's teaching love. And say, oh, these are the Christians. Right. Oh, y'all are y'all are acting like Christians. Right. Yeah, how Shah loves this. Right. He loves he loves to see brothers dealing in unity. All right, brothers helping each other out. And this was manifested the love of God toward us, because that God sent His only begotten Son into the world that we might live through Him. Herein is love, not that we love God, but that He loved us and sent His Son. To be a proper and to be the preparation, a preparation, a preparation, appropriation for our sins, mm -hmm. beloved. If God so loved us, we are also love one another. Exactly, right? He sent His Son. He loved us so much. He sent His only begotten Son to, to, to bring us back, right? To take away the sins of our of, 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 of our uh, transgressions, right? To wash us in the blood, right? But now, with that love that He has bestowed upon us. How come we can't show each other that same love? How come we can't? That's why he's saying that we're supposed to do that, man. If he did it for us, just like once again, it says he must show mercy. In order to obtain mercy, you have to show mercy. All right? This is this is how the Lord wants things to be set up. Man. It says, uh, no man have seen God at any time. If we love one another, God dwelleth in us. And his love is perfect in us. Hereby uh, know we that we dwell in him and he in us because he have given us his spirit mm -hmm. and, house, and we have dwelling, your house, nah, so you good, bro. Your house shall dwelling within you right that's the that's the when your house shall dwell in you it's not a hard thing it's, it's going to come out naturally and we always say that like the laws the things that's, that's right is you're going to do it initially it's just going to happen it's going to come abroad right? Like water. Yeah, yeah. This is that he that believe with all me. As the scripture say, out of his belly shall flow rivers right. of living water. Right. That it, it's just gonna, it's just gonna happen. You know. Come on, um, um, in the book of Matthew, if I can interject, right? you got more oh, on yeah, that. Yeah, you got more. Now. Okay. okay, you want me to get you one? Yeah, yeah. It says, uh, it says, uh, and we have seen. Let me go back. Hereby know that we dwell in Him, and He in us, because He has given us His Spirit. And we have seen and do testify that the Father sent the Son to be a savior to the world. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the Son of God, God dwelleth in him, and he in God. And we have known and believed the love that God had to us. God is love. And he that dwell in love dwelleth in God, and God in him. Therefore we herein is our love made perfect that we may have boldness in the day of judgment. Because as he is, so we in this world. There be no fear in love, but perfect love casteth out fear. Because the fear have torment, and he feareth is not made perfect in love. That's right, he said, he also mentioned that you may stand bold, bold. in the day of judgment. Yes. That's showing that you have confidence in the Lord. You have a, you have a, it's like that, a sure mind that the Lord's going to defend you because you was doing exactly what the Lord asked you to do. Right, you can say, Lord, I did what it yes. was that you told me to do. I loved them, they hated me, you know, I prayed for them, that persecuted me. I love my neighbor, I love my brother, you know. You gave me the back. You know, I was, I was about to add, right? Um, Lord allow the sun to shine on the wicked and the, and the just. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So that's love. That's love right there. And we, uh, Yahweh Shai says, uh, be perfect. Right. You know, as my father in heaven. So it's Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. So we say that, right? So that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Just because somebody loves you, like, uh, love you, you know what I mean? You have to love them that, them that love you and them that hate you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? To be exactly. like, to be like, uh, that's the perfection of, 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 of the man of the left. You go to the book of Matthew 22 and 36 because it says, Master, which is the greatest commandment in the law? Yahweh Shai said unto him, Thou shalt love the Lord thy power with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy mind. This is the first and great commandment. And the second is like unto it, Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. 
on these two commandments hang all the law and the prophets. There you go. It says these two commandments hang the law and the prophets. So if you keep these two, once again, it, 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 it's better than it's better than trying to keep all 613 laws. Okay. You know, something that's harder for you to do. Yahweh Shah said, just keep the even if you just follow these two, you good. You know, because if you love your, if the scripture says, honor thy father and thy mother, right? If you do that, that's like loving your neighbor as yourself. Yep. You know, if you say, if you say, uh, you know, um, loving, uh, not to, not to uh, follow idols or serve idols. It's like you said, loving the Lord with all thy heart, thy soul, thy might. That's like keeping that one. Yeah, we right. say, when you love the heavenly father, like you love yourself, you're not going to worship no Bible, yeah. no Buddha dog, yeah. you know? Yeah, exactly. See? Yeah. Yeah, like uh, those two are the foundation of every single law that you can go through. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Everything that you go through, it goes back to those two, those two laws, you know what yeah. I'm saying? And yeah, how man. can how can one be cursed if you're trying to keep if you keep those right. keep those two? How can one be cursed? Right. Well it's good. In the New Testament it talks about us being blessed. Yeah. Right? It's all it's all increased from that point on. You know, and that's what it is. The Lord is gonna grow you. It's like the scripture talks about as a, a, a man planted by the rivers of water, a tree planted by the rivers of water, right? What happens when a tree's planted by a nice river that's always flowing? It's gonna produce good fruit, you know? It's gonna it's gonna look nourished, it's gonna be taken care of, and that's what happens when you cleave unto Yahweh Shem Yahushai, you cleave unto this new covenant. We ain't thinking of the old way, man. We, that's just long gone. I, I, got, I got one for you, bro. If yeah, I be man, the Afro question. If I be at Yahushai, it's life. So if you connect to be Yahushai, you're gonna be flourished. You're gonna right. be well established. You know what I'm saying? You're gonna, you're gonna be brought up. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. That's why, that's why when you're in, a, in, in, in trouble, you ain't gotta think about, damn, bro, I'm out of. Nah, because the Lord's gonna step in. The Lord got you. He's gonna, he's gonna take care of you. Why? Because once again, if He's nourishing you and taking care of you, it's just like. Like a garden, you gotta take care of your garden. The Lord got his garden, he's gonna take care of it, man. He's gonna take care of his elect, he's gonna take care of his sheep, man. He's not gonna let his people go astray. But once again, you have to show the attributes of those that is of his, his sheep, man. Of his followers, his believers. Man. Yeah, but in back, you have made a point about saying, like, when the Holy Spirit dwelleth in you, and you, love, up, and, you, and you love the neighbor like Keep yourself. Up, I'm right on the mic, bro. Uh, I can't hear you, <laughs> Sorry. And you love your neighbor like you love yourself. It's basically you're gonna naturally if you love your brother like you love yourself, you're not gonna wanna lay with your brothers, right? You're not gonna wanna defraud your brother. You get yeah, yeah, but it's gonna start to flow out naturally. You're not gonna lie, you're not gonna lie, you're not gonna disrespect your brother, you know what I'm saying? Like ain't no fake love. You come up, we all come up. You know what I'm saying? You get some you know, you get yeah, exactly. You get a little piece yeah. shit, we all get a little piece. I got it, you all got it. Yeah, we all got it. Hey, but this is an axe. It was nobody without me yeah, because nobody they all sold what they had and they, and they gave. Right. But I want to go back to what you said. Yeah. I want to bring on a scripture concerning what you said, um, the old way compared to the new. Uh, Matthew chapter 5 verse 21. Ye have heard that it was said by them of old time, thou shalt not kill. And whoever shall kill shall be in danger of the judgment. But I say unto you that whosoever is angry with his brother without a cause shall be in danger of the judgment. And whosoever shall say uh, to his brother, Rakar, shall be in the danger of the council. Or whosoever shall say, thou fool, shall be in danger of hellfire. Therefore, if thou bring thy gift unto the altar, and thou rememberest that have aught with thy brother, uh, uh, thou remember thy brother have aught against thee, leave thee therefore the gift at the altar, and go thy way. First be reconciled to thy brother, and then come and offer thy gift. That's right. That's right. So, 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 he said, they had mentioned, if you have art against your brother for no reason, right? For not, for not a cause. Yo, that's, 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 a, that's a wicked, that's wicked. Right. You know what I'm saying? Just like a, a that, that, that wicked thought of popping this into your mind, because we all deal with it, you know, them demons, it's it just a random ass thought popping into your mind, right? You got to rebuke that, man. You know, because once again, the myth fest is up. You know what I'm saying? Now you now you find yourself really hating your brother for no reason. You know, but the Lord, that's why the Lord, he, he's, he's focusing on the mind, right? He's telling you, listen, you got to deal with, you got to have a better mindset. You got to think better, right? If you got beef with your brother, go don't don't, don't, don't squash that before you go bring your, your, your gift to the altar. Right. Go make that sacrifice, right. you know? Because that's fake love. How you going to say, how you going to love, how should I say, scripture says, how you going to love me, who have you, been, have you ever seen, but you didn't love the brother that's with you. You see? All right, let me read this for you, bro. Uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 43. You have heard that it has been said, 
thou shalt love thy neighbor and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you. That if I may, that's, that's exactly what Yahweh Shai uh, wants you to do, right? Yahweh Shai is the, the foundation, it's like uh, the, the standard. You know he, he embodied this. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. He got spit on, he didn't do nothing. He got yeah. smacked, he got smitten. He, he embodied this, this, this beer. He didn't just say it, yeah, he, but he, he, yeah. he, he, he did it. Out, yeah. he, out. he said, um, even, yeah. even when it was, he was on the cross, he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. Oh, 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 oh. wicked ass people that all, they constantly wanted to put him to death. They constantly wanted to put him to death. He said, Father, forgive them. A man that will lay down his life. Right? Yep. Um, I'm, I'm going to continue on with yep. this. If you finish, bro. Uh, Matthew uh, chapter 5, verse 43. Uh, ye have heard, it had been said, Thou shalt love thy enemy, and uh, thou shalt love thy neighbor, and hate thy enemy. But I say unto you, love your enemies, bless them that curse you, do good to them that hate you, and pray for them which despitefully use you and persecute you, that ye may be children of your Father which is in heaven. For ye make of the sun to rise on the evil and on the good, and send the rain on the just and the unjust. For if you love them which love you, what reward have you? Do not even publicans do the same? And if you salute your brethren only, what do you more than others? Do not the publicans also? Be ye therefore perfect as you, as like, even as your Father which is in heaven is perfect. And they constantly say what? That, 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 that. Uh, it says loving your enemy, that's that's one of your uh, nation, right? That's your that's your fellow brother, that's a, that's an Israelite. No, it's, it's, it's plain and simple. It says love your enemies, that's all those that oppose to you, right? Because once again, it says that he makes the sun arise and fall on the righteous and on the wicked. Right? So obviously he's talking about one that opposes you, but he's telling you right then and there, you gotta love them. Why? Because at the end of the day, the Lord will bestow that. It's, it also mentions about, uh, what does it say? Uh, when a man ways please the Lord, he maketh even his enemies to be at peace with him. So at the end of the day, you show forth that love to your enemy. Eventually down the line, the Lord will make it with that same individual that you co considered your enemy will come and help you out. You know? Okay, I got a piece of too. Uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 29, pursuant to what yep. you say, you'll catch it. Um, but he willing to justify himself, said unto Yahweh Shai, who is my neighbor? Um, hold on, let me see. Let me get the, let me get the whole thing. Luke 10 and 29. Because going back to what, you, what the brother was saying is, they say, well, that's talking about your brother. You're supposed to love your brother, that's in the truth. Even though Yahweh Shai said, if you love your brother only, um, what, what, what good is, is it? it? Yeah. So, so I want to go to this parable in which, you know, the, the, this man sought to justify himself by asking, who is my brother? Yeah, yeah. Uh, Luke chapter 10, verse 29. Bear with me real quick. You can speak, bro. Yeah, come on, come on. Luke 10 and 29. Hey, man, if I could grab this real, real quick as you read this. Yeah, bro. This is the blue definition for neighbor, because it doesn't necessarily mean it's someone of your tribe. It's a neighbor, a friend, any other person, and where two are concerned, the other thy fellow man, thy neighbor, according to the Jews, any member of the Hebrew nation and commonwealth, according to Yahweh Shai, any other man irrespective of nation or religion with whom we live or whom we have a chance to meet. There you go. And that's the reason why he said what he said. We know it has been told that you've been said, that, you know what I'm saying? But I'm telling you. Go ahead, bro. Start with 2025. Go ahead, you got it? Uh, yeah, yeah. Go ahead, bring it up, bro. 10 verse 25. One day, an expert in religious law stood to just Yahweh Shai by asking him this question. Teacher, what should I do to inherit eternal life? Yahweh Shai replied, what does the law of Moses says? How do you read it? The main answer, you must love the Lord your God with all your heart, all your soul, all your strength, and all your mind, and love your neighbor as thyself. All right, Yahweh Shai told him, do this and you will live. The man wanted to justify him. The man wanted to justify his actions, yeah. so he asked Yahweh Shai, who is my neighbor? Yeah. Yahweh Shai replied with a story, a, 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 a Jewish man was traveling from Jerusalem down to Jericho, and he was attacked by a, a bandit. They stripped him of his clothes, 
beat him up and left him to death beside a road. By chance, a priest came alone, but when he saw the man lying there, he crossed the, the other side of the road and passed him by. The priest wanted no parts with that man. A tip or six tip walked over and looked at him lying there, but he also passed by on the other side. Then the despised Samaritan came alone, and when he saw the man, he felt compassion for him. Going over to him, the Samaritan stood his uh, wound with uh, olive oil and wine and bandaged him. Yep. Then he put the man on his own donkey and took him to, to, to a hotel where he took care of him. The next day, he handed the, the innkeeper to a silver coin, telling him, take care of this man. If his bill will higher than this, I'll pay you the next time I, I'm here. Now, which of these three uh, would you say was his neighbor to the man who was uh, attacked by the bandit? How we shall ask? The man replied, the one who showed him mercy. That's right. And it shows you because it mentioned about the Levi and it also mentioned of the priest. And what they do, they cross the street. They didn't want to have no parts with that man that got beat up. Right, but a Samaritan, an inversion of brother. What was that? The, the that, was a, that was a, that was an NIV. That the was NIV. It says that the despised. NLT, yep. The NLT says a despised Samaritan. Yep. All right. He yep. seen the man. And he 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 was, had compassion. Picked the man up, patched them all up, threw him on the donkey, brought him to the spot, and told this he told his servant, "Hey, listen, take care of him." You know, that's 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 love. And and, they, and the first thing they say is like, "Oh yeah," you know that. Don't hit me with no, that's that's an Israelite foreigner. Don't hit me with no Israelite foreigner, because they're telling me right then and there, it's a despised Samaritan, yep. right? So at the same time, it's showing you that these other nations, they they can show that love and compassion. Yep, yep. They can show that love, and, and guess what? He's a, he's a follower of Yahweh Shah more than those other ones that was right. that walked by. Right, yeah. and Karab, I was going to say, it sounds like a Gentile that wasn't given the law, but they do naturally. They take that out of the, the things that, that yes, are of the exactly. law. Exactly. Yeah, if I got exactly. to, like, uh, it says a Jewish man, it was, she was traveling, so, you know, the Jews had, back then had, no, they were the Samaritans. Yeah. So the Lord allowed uh, the, the, the despised Samaritan to take care of, of, the, of, the, of, the, of, the, of the Israelite right. men, just to show how how what 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 a neighbor is supposed to do to 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 to, to someone that is uh, that, that that is that, that, that hated him, you know yeah. what I'm saying? And then and, and going back to the top, it said that this was a man that was uh, what was it? Basically a Pharisee. This is a man that was studied in the law. Yeah. Right. And he go ask the question, and still you out of his own mouth, he answers, "All right, this is the man who who who's, who's my neighbor." Yeah. Mind you, he said he he kept all the laws. Yeah. The laws. Yep. Uh, he he tied. They, 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 they keep the laws, them. they tie. Yep. But when it came down to doing what Yahweh Shah said to do, which was to give everything he had, he wasn't with it. Yep. So it came down to commandments. It came. It's not about sacrifice. It's about what obedience. Yeah, it's exactly. better to obey than to give to sacrifice. Yes, oh, that's exactly yes, what uh, sauce yeah. to, to yeah. um, similar to, to sauce. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, Romans yeah. thirteen and eight. Oh, oh, yeah. That's that's it. I was just there. Hold on. Hold on. We might have to start up a little bit. Uh, no, no, start at, start at, start at 8. Yeah. Uh, Roman 13 and 8. Let no debt remain. I'm with NIV. Let no debt remain outstanding except the continual debt of Let no Let no debt remain outstanding except the continual debt to love one another. For whoever loves others has fulfilled the law. Right. The commandment. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not murder. Shall not steal, shall not covet, and whatever other command there may be are summed up in this one command. I'll, I'm gonna read down. Love your neighbor as yourself. Love does no harm to a neighbor, therefore love is the fulfillment of law. Love, so, love, love work in this in the in King James says love work is no ill to towards his neighbor. his neighbor. Right? So what harm is it there? What harm is it is to love your brother or to love someone? You know, once again, it says that. Uh, love your neighbor as yourself. That cover all the laws. You're not gonna commit adultery. To uh, you're not gonna do these different things. If I can add to you real quick, and it's so easy to love somebody that loves you. Yeah. It's so easy that like, we we come over my house. You get like it's so easy for us to love. But the perfection um, is to loving somebody who actually hates you, yeah. that's persecuting you, that despises you. So when you go and turn, you say, no, that's talking about your brother. That's in the truth. That's going against what Yahweh Shai is saying. He's saying if you just do that. You're just like a publican, which is the publicans, they were hated in Israel most of that time. You know better than they are. So the perfection is to actually embody what Yahweh Shai did and die for not just his people that hated him, 
for other people that was around the world that was going to call upon his name. That's right. You got it. Yeah. You got one to say something, Yashima? Oh, no. Okay. Uh, that's what I was about to add, right? Um, yeah, how I should I ask you to cover the whole field? Not just the left field, but, yeah, but the, yeah, the whole yeah, field. Yeah, the right yeah. field as well, you know what I'm saying? So that, we have, so that when somebody comes against you, they won't have an excuse, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Right, so when, when, you, when you hit the judgment gate, yeah, yeah. You're um, found blameless. Yeah, blameless. Because and say you suppose that you, oh, I thought he was an Edomite. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Based off of what? His skin color. Yeah, yeah. But no, that what that might have been one of Yahweh Shai's uh, chosen men, a, a chosen vessel. The yeah. spirit of Yahweh Shai may have been in that man. And, and in turn, what you did was you rejected him. So, so you're cleared when it says, "Oh, when have we seen you a stranger, and we gave to you?" Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? You're cleared in that. Because really, that conversation is going to be a conversation that's going to be held at the gate, at judgment. You are, matter of fact, it tells you in Matthew 7, when the Lord says, depart from me, I'm, I'm, I did not know thee. When you read up, he tells you some of the reasons why. One of those reasons being, when you go to Matthew 7 and 12, it says, Therefore all things whatsoever ye would that men should do to you, do you even so to them, for this is the law in the prophets right that's that's called the golden rule the golden rule is to treat others how you want to be treated yeah i got some quick uh romans 12 verse 17 matter of fact uh matter of fact verse verse, uh, verse 16 right uh matter of fact uh verse 15 be happy with those who are happy and weep with those who weep live in harmony with each other don't be too proud to enjoy the company of uh, other people and don't think you know it all Never pay bad evil with evil. Never pay bad evil with more evil. Do things in such a way that everyone can see you are honorable. Do do all that you can to live in peace with everyone. That's right. Yeah. Live peaceably with all men. That's yep. what you would say. Yeah. Your man, if I may add, because it goes back to when the Lord originally gave his law, statutes, and commandments to Israel. It was to glorify his name. Likewise, with Yahweh Shai telling us to do these things, it's not us being glorified, it's the Lord being glorified. And it goes back oh. to coming in his name because you can know the Lord's name, but when you go into that blue letter indefination, um, it goes into the characteristics of what that name stands for. Yeah, yeah. That's why the scripture says, let your light shine before men. men that they may see your good yeah. works and glorify your father, which, which is, is in heaven. heaven. And it goes back to go back to the point that you had made, right? About, uh, you know, uh, it's easy to love somebody that loves you, right? When you, when, when you look at it, right? When you when you have an enemy, right? It's it's way harder to love that person, right? And what comes a major factor that comes into play with loving your enemy is forgiveness. You know, you have to forgive and put that on the back burner, whatever it is that that person has done, to, to produce that love still to that person. Because at the end of the day, once again, in order to be forgiven from Yahweh Shah, you gotta forgive others. So that's what I'm saying. You stand in front of that gate, and that law and the law holds you accountable. It's like, listen, you want me to forgive you, but you ain't forgive this person. Right. So, so what, what we what we doing here? The talent of the, the, the man. You know what? The, uh, the king would forgive the the one that, that owned the money. The owned yeah. the money. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. But, but then the other guy that owed that, that owed the king money went and go smacked up another man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? Yeah. Like what? what that's, hey, bro. I was telling you, you can't have that mindset. You know? You gotta. You just. Once again, because it goes back to Yahweh Shah, that's what it says, the Heavenly Father has bestowed his love and showed us his love by giving us his son. Yeah. So what more What more are we, we owe. We owe, we have to do these things, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I got some real quick about you. said John 15, verse, uh, verse, uh, verse 15, right? Said John chapter 15, verse, uh, verse 12. This is my commandment that you love one another as I have loved you. Greater love had no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. And it says what? Uh, if you love me, you'll keep my commandments, yep, right? Yep, yep. So going back, read that one more time, right? Yahweh Shah stated this, right? Come, come. Greater love had no, had no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friend. That's right. You lay down your life for your friend. That's right. That can be physically, that can you be you literally laying down your life for your friend. That's right. Or you even going suffering with your brother. That's right. Yep. You know? Yep. The scripture mentioned if, 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 if a brother going one mile, go two miles with him. You know what I'm saying? Like, yo, so, so you, 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 you willing to sacrifice it all for your brother. You know what I'm saying? And vice versa. He says, ye are my friends if you do whatsoever I command you. And for, henceforth I call you your servants, for the servant knoweth not what his Lord doeth, 
but I called you friends. So now, now you become a friend of your Howard Shot. That's how you establish yeah. the connection. You yeah, come. you become a friend of your Howard Shot if you do these things, right? Yeah. Because now you in a, it's like it's like now you in an exclusive club. The servants yeah. don't understand what the master. Yeah. The servants just hey, they do as they told. But Howard Shot was given the scoop. Yeah. Now you. What, what, what the brother say, uh, ca caught up in the heaven. Now you have a heavenly mindset. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? How much I said, y'all are from below, y'all from beneath, and I'm from above. You now pulled up in that ring. You know what it says? Joint ears into y'all yeah. shot? Come on now. So you got to follow his commands to become that. That's right. That's not heavy to my shit. Right. Come. He tell you to go. I swear I got to add that. He tell you to go now. All right. All power. Literally. He come back and he said, look, all power has been given to me in heaven and earth. And underneath the earth, on earth. Now go out into the highways and byways to, and teach all nations and preach the gospel to every creature. A friend of Yahweh Shah is going to take orders. Yeah. 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 Come. Yeah. Come. Yeah. Gonna add it goes back to Yahweh Shai saying you should know a, a tree by its fruits. The Lord lets you know in the scriptures what are the um fruits of the Holy Spirit and what's not the fruits of the Holy Spirit. And this is why Lord William, when we come out here, it's to examine thyself and examine what you're a part of and see like what tree are you a part of? What fruits are you bearing? By what comes out of your mouth, yeah. by your actions. Tells you because what 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 comes out of a man's mouth first starts in his in mind. mind. Yeah. Yep, yep. Uh, mess, you mess around and find out that you've been you've been uh, uh, representing the Lord the wrong way. The Lord's not with that. Depart from me. The yeah. Lord's not with that. Yeah, exactly. Right. He said, uh, "Have we not cast out demons and prophesied in your name, and you still got rejected?" Depart from me. You work up a nickel. Yeah. You ain't do what the Lord. Do. You 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 thought you did what, right. what the Lord right. was saying to do, right. but no, you had it all wrong. Right. You, that's what being self will. You yep, thought of it your, your own way. Yes, you know, oh, I'm gonna just do it like this, and I, I should be fine. It's cl oh, close. Yeah. It's close enough. You know what I'm saying? It's, like, it's, it's close enough. Like, nah. The Lord said, "This is how He wanted done," and this, and He gave us the school once again. We, he get, He said, "If you do these things, you're you're my friend, yeah. right?" Come on, now He's He's giving us the school for how to get yeah. to the kingdom. The blueprint. Huh? He, when you look at the yes. Lord in His parables, He was giving us the blueprint to be able to stand before that throne. Yeah. That's ultimately what He yeah. was doing. He was. Prepping the elect yeah. on, on on standing before that throne. And the, yeah. and the messed up part of not a messed up part about the crazy part about it is Yahweh Shah wasn't he was displaying this to all the men that was on the scene, but only only particular you, men accepted it. That's what yeah. he was saying. Yeah. Yeah. He that's said it, it man. It yeah. was meant for you to know the mysteries. That's why he gave it in parables. parables and, yeah. and if you understand the parables, and you know, that's a blessing for you. He will he will present it to the yeah. Pharisees. The Pharisees will be stumped. And they walk away, but then the then the disciples will come later and like, oh, what you mean what about you that situation? Yeah, 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 and then yeah. he's like, Alright, this is what I meant. You know what I'm saying? But these men couldn't even get past phase one. Yeah. You know? I got I got yeah. one. Uh, Galatians chapter five, verse 20, uh, 22. Uh, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy. Hold on, hold on. What's yep. the first one? Yeah. Love. The first one says love. Hold that's on, the fruits of the spirit. Right? You don't that's okay, bro. <laughs> don't allow them to tell you, oh, that's that Christian stuff. Well, they can say it, but don't feel bad about these things, bro. Yeah, well, go yeah, ahead, bro. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this story, bro. Yeah. Go ahead, bro. It was first called Christians in Antioch, bro. It wasn't, they didn't call themselves Christians. There was people calling them Christians, man. So it's the same with us. Because we they follow Yahweh Shah. Yeah, yeah, we follow Yahweh Shah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't call us Christians. All right, cool. Well, they they hated them. 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 The, the, to the best of your ability, what your house shot did. I, I captain. Like, <laughs> right. You want yeah. me to do what? Okay. You know what I'm saying? Uh, love who? Can you imagine? That was a radical teaching yeah. back then. You know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Galatians 5 and 22. Uh, but, the, uh, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self control. Against such thing, there is no law. Hey, see, and then, but then again, you have men that's walking around. They 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 believe they're part of the truth, and they down all the time. Their mindset is they they, they it's the woe is me spirit. Yeah. The Lord, yo, listen. If you got the fruits of the spirit, you're gonna have joy in yeah. you. You're gonna be kind. You're yeah. gonna you're gonna be happy to be out here doing what you're doing. Yeah, you're gonna yeah. be happy to interact with people. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, Why yeah. wouldn't you want to be happy interacting with people? Yeah, yeah. You gotta go push the word anyway. Right. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So come on now. Yeah, the, the, fruits of the, the fruits of the spirit. This is what the Lord. These are fruits that the Lord is gonna say. Ah, right, this is this is it's, it's worth it. Yeah. You know, I can accept this. 
Yeah, when you're doing something you, that you love, guess what? The love, the love takes pleasure. It takes pleasure. Are you, gonna, are, you gonna, are you gonna come out here like, like, like all sunny shit? Yo, I have to do this work. Yeah, yeah, dreading it. Like, yeah. yeah. It's just like you're going to work. <laughs> I don't even feel like being here today, you know? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. that's not what the Lord is <laughs> not with that. Hey, I got uh, Matthew chapter 5, verse 13. Ye are the salt of the earth. Uh, ye are the salt of the earth, but if the salt have lost its savior, wherein shall it be salted? It is ditched forth. Uh, good. No, I'm just saying, okay. yeah, because okay. it says that salt has lost its savior, then it's, it's basically worthless. It's, it's, it's no good. You know, it don't, it don't, it don't give you that flavor anymore. It don't give you that, that spice that you're looking for. It don't give you that. Right. right. It might be a source of also like a, a preserver. Preserver, yeah. You know what I'm saying? It it kept it kept things it kept things in, in, in check. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So when when longer useful, all, all you can do is cast, cast it away. away. Cast away. Yeah. Come. It says, uh, "Have lost his savior. Wherein shall he be salted? It is this for good for nothing, yeah. but to be cast out and to be trodden on the foot. Mm -hmm. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid." Neither do men light a candle and put it under a brushel, but on a candlestick and give light unto all that are in the house. And it's beautiful that you brought that out because the scripture says that the Lord was going to make us a light unto the Gentiles. Yep, yep. Right? So that same light that's on the hill, what we, come on, they get these these other nations going to see it. They're going to see the, they're going to see that, that, you know what I mean? Yeah. That you're that light. You're going to yeah. see that you're walking in the spirit of your whole shot. Yeah, yeah. And they're going to cleave onto that right. light. It's just like right. those bugs that right. see the light right. and they just attracted right. to it. Right. That's what these other nations are going to do. Are you going to be a light unto the Gentile if every time they come up, you reject them? You reject them. Yeah. 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 you. Get up the block. Yeah. Ah, you know what I mean? Yeah. Are you going to be a light unto them? Yeah, but plus to add on to you because the scripture says the reason why to be meek and patient with men because so that um, if they pre-adventure, and come back to the repentance of the truth that the Lord will take them out to snare the devil. So you don't know how many times it may take a man when he comes up and he asks you something. The Lord wasn't on that, yo, get up the block. Up, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Yo, that, that's why patience comes yeah. into play. If you lack in patience, you better pray to the Lord so that that way you can deal with his word and, deal, and, and, and deliver his word unto the people that needs it. Because if you lack in patience, the first thing, uh, uh, you ain't going to get it. Uh, you, you just you just close up. You just shut the door to the kingdom of heaven yeah, on that person, yeah, man. Kind of. And your woman, the scripture tells you that the Lord is long suffering, which goes into patience, yeah. so that 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 so that all, all should perish, come, yeah, yeah. but um, come back. Yeah, not yeah, whether that any should perish, but, but that all should come to repentance. Yeah. You know. So at the end of the day, we have to dis we have to uh, uh, display those attributes, and, man. Yeah. Emulation, yeah. 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 this characteristic. Yeah. 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 If I can add two real quick concerning that, if if the Lord said if if, if Yahweh said it's not the will that anybody should perish, that should let you know that the kingdom of heaven is going to be something that was rejected. You, if if you if you're not able to enter into the kingdom of heaven is because you chose you decided you didn't want to live in the presence of the Lord you didn't you 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 didn't want that light you didn't want to uh, 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 be amongst righteousness you wanted to be dwell in darkness that's why I said that he, the light came but the, they rejected the light that was something you got this is something you guys reject you reject the Holy Spirit you know, rise and shine that light has come yep. and it says go darkness in the world and grows darkness to people yep. these people these people they can't fathom, they, they don't like the light, like the scripture said. Unless the deep kills that deep, yeah, the deep yeah, yeah. through reproof. Yeah. Because Yahweh, yes, that's what I'm saying, Yahweh Bar Shimel Shah is a, uh, you know what I'm saying, they're reprover, they hear the correct. What you see, what's, that's why when Yahweh Shah was speaking, they hated, they hated when Yahweh Shah spoke. They was angry. They was angry when Yahweh Shah was speaking because he was reproving them. He was trying, he was correcting them. They didn't want to, they didn't want to accept it. Let me get this too for you real quick. Um, I'm gonna ask something um, out. Let me, let me, yeah, Carl, let me slide you, bro. Let me get this real quick, bro. This is a. Uh, this is a. Uh, I'm gonna start at. Uh, I'm gonna start at 6. 1 John chapter 1, verse 6. There was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came as a witness to bear witness of the light that all men through him might believe. See, that all oh, men man. through oh, him might believe. Regardless of your nationality, yeah. your ethnicity, you know, who, 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 who your, your lineage from, yeah. all men, universal, all men. from Adam. <laughs> yeah. He was not the light, but he was sent to bear witness of that light, that, the, that, that was the true light, which lightened every man which cometh into the world. Right. He was in the world, and the world was made by him. 
by, uh, by, by him all things consist through him all things was made yeah. you know what I'm saying yeah, how and the world knew him not he came into his own and his own received him not but as many as received him he gave them, he gave he Asakia, to uh, as many as received him to them gave he power to become the sons of God even to them that believe on his name which were born not of blood nor of the will of flesh nor of the will of men but of God that's right that's adoption right so it's, it's letting you know right there not of not of blood not, not of flesh, flesh. it's yeah. not talking about your, your, uh, your not, nationality not lineage yeah. <laughs> it's not yeah. talking about that it's yeah. about all that believe and accept the Yahweh shot right. now you have been adopted unto him uh, as, as a son of God yeah. 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 going back also being linked with uh, children of Abraham yeah, yeah, you know what yeah, I'm saying yeah. that's why the Lord spoke on that or children of uh, now you're children of Abraham yeah. because they, these people believed in him they had faith in him yeah. you gotta go you got one uh, I got Acts chapter 9 verse 15 But the Lord said unto him Go thy way For he is a chosen vessel unto me To bear my name before the Gentiles And kings and the children of Israel Yeah that was the Lord told Ananias Because uh, Paul, uh, Saul before he became Paul right He was Saul right He was so dead dead to be on, on cruise by the Christian yeah. The believers the church, the, church, the, church, the church right so when Ananias got the vision that the Lord would want, want, want him to go to Paul and to heal him from his life, eyesight, he was blind for, 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 for a couple of hours, right? But uh, Ananias was like, nah, Lord, this man was known for for, for persecuting the Christians, mm -hmm. for persecuting the church. And the Lord, the Lord told Ananias, no, nah, don't worry about it. He's shown his vessel he's shown to bear my yeah. name before kings. All right, right, Dan? Yep. We did go more time on the church? Oh, uh, this is Acts chapter 9 verse 15 uh, But the Lord said unto him yes, Go thy way uh -huh. for he is a chosen vessel yes, unto me uh -huh. To bear my name before the Gentiles uh -huh. The kings and the children of Israel Yeah, it's so much so Paul almost converted to Quibba Because, like, because the way he was, uh, he was so, so fervent He was so eloquent in his speech You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. A uh, good man said you almost uh, tried uh, because this is become a Christian. Like, yeah, they try to say that he was using subtle, he was being subtle. Like, nah, that's not what it was. Paul was sincere when he was saying what he was saying. Yeah. And Paul had already stated that he was ready, ready to, to die. Yeah, he, he was ready, ready to die or to get life in prison yeah. concerning the word. So he, there was no getting yeah. out of it. He wasn't trying to duck no smoke. Yeah. He was just being honest in what he was teaching. He was taught by Yahweh Shai. Yeah. If I be a two, when you're about to die, you have nothing to, to lose. Yeah, exactly. Just let, let, let it all out. Yes? That's exactly what Paul did. Yeah. John 14-5 Thomas said to him, Lord, we don't know where you are going, so how can we know the way? Yahweh yeah, answered, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you really know me, you will know my Father as well. Yeah. From now on, you do know him and have seen him. Yeah. And you got some men saying, don't follow Yahweh we got to stick to the Old Testament. But it tells you that the only way to get to the Father is going through your house. Somehow they think they can leave over your house. Yeah. You know, you skip steps when you're going up the stairs sometimes. Yeah, yeah, That's the only thing they can do. Yeah. Like, how do you go past? How do you do that? Yeah, you know, like, steps, yeah. like, trying to go through the window. Yeah, like, yeah, let me pass the bodyguard and let me yeah, just go yeah, see, you know? Yeah. Like the president, said, go past the um, secret service. Man. Yeah. <laughs> so he's the way, the truth, and the life, man. There's this. Yahweh Shah is, is, once again, that perfect example. Yeah. The perfect example. And if you, like he said, he, him and his, Yahweh Shai mentioned that he, he and his father are one. So now if you're doing it the right way, if you're doing it the way of Yahweh Shai, that shows you that the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai are dealing with you. It's, it's, it's all that union, that union takes place. Come, come plus the family act, because Yahweh Shai dwelling with you goes back to the Holy Spirit dwelling amongst you. So I wanted to go to Wisdom of Solomon 1, because he's going to show you how the Holy Spirit is of love. Yeah. Wisdom of Solomon 1 and 1 says, love righteousness, ye that be judges of the earth. Think of the Lord with a good heart and in simplicity of heart, seek him. In simplicity goes into clearness, plainness. Yep, plainness yep. It says, for he will be found of them that tempt him not and show himself unto such as do not distrust him. Because the scripture says what? That you have to trust in the Lord, believe faith. It says, for forward darts separate from the Lord and his power when he is tried reproveth the unwise and if I may get the blue letter for forward is perverse yep. or rebellious okay. or disobedient yep. it says for into a malicious soul wisdom shall not enter nor dwell in the body that is subject unto sin 
for the Holy Spirit of discipline will flee deceit and remove from thoughts that are without understanding and will not abide with unrighteousness cometh in. And that goes back to what was always mentioned, cleanse out your temple. Because if you if you don't clean out your temple, how is the Holy Spirit going to reside with you? How is wisdom going to suck with you? You see? So once again, you got to clean out your temple. You can't be, uh, uh, what is this? Um, you can't serve two, two masters. masters. Yeah, one foot in, one foot yeah, out. Yeah, one foot in, one foot out. You want to be a part of the world, but then you want to still take, uh, reap the benefits of your hour shot. That's not how it works. You got to pick a side. But once again, it says wisdom will not enter into a malicious soul. You know, and they have men out there with malicious intent. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 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 Calm, man. You got it. Yeah. It says right here, for wisdom is a loving spirit and will not acquit a blasphemer of his words. For the Lord is witness of his reins and a true beholder of his heart and a hearer of his tongue. For the spirit of the Lord filleth the world and that which containeth all things have knowledge of the voice. Let me grab something real quick. Um, yeah. I think it's First Corinthians 13. I'll grab a seat. Yeah, it's on that verse uh, four. This is the book of First Corinthians 13 in verse four. It says, charity suffereth long and is kind. Charity envieth not. Charity vaunteth not itself. It is not puffed up. Doeth not behave itself unseemly. Seeketh not her own. Is not easily provoked. Thinketh no evil. Rejoiceth not in iniquity, but rejoiceth in the truth. Right. It's telling you about charity, right? The scripture says, uh, charity covers the multitude of sins. You know, so it, 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 with charity, it ultimately shows you that this is just uh, the great, what well, you said, that goodwill, all right? That love, that goodwill of Yahweh Ba Shemel Shah. It covers a lot, all right? It doesn't, it, it, it's not evil, you know what I'm saying? It, it just it just produces the proper fruits, man. Sincere. Yeah, sincere. You say you love a man all you want, but you actually get Exactly. Charity will show it. That's right. That's how you know. That's how you know. What's up? Holy composition and godliness. Yep, yep, yep. That's super sweet about it. Yeah, that's that's how you conduct yourself. The way you, you deal with your, your your brethren, you know what I'm saying? The way you interact, the way you walk your life when the camera is not around, you know what I'm saying? That's how you know who you are as a person. Really? Or you give, you know what I'm saying? You really realize that it's better to give than to receive. Yeah. When you truly feel good in giving, then you do receiving. That's how you know that that's the spirit of the Lord that's working within you. Karnak, and that's why Yahweh Shah was calling him out when he said, you know, what you do unto the least of least of them you do unto me. Like when when have you ever fed me? When have you ever clothed me? Whenever you had you ever visited me? Like right, when yes. was I in prison and you you all sick and you came to see me? You know, because easy to, it's easy to, to uh, play the part when people are around, you know what I'm saying? But it's harder to, to do it. Uh and that's why this, the Lord was speaking about these things. I'm praying when you pray. Don't go out in the streets yeah, yeah. like the hypocrite, yep, but yeah. pray in your closet. Yep. Or when you fast, don't walk around. You know what I'm saying? With yeah, ass on your face. No, yeah, yeah. Don't, tell no, don't tell nobody. Yeah, don't tell nobody. Yeah. That's sincerity. But that's that's the new covenant. The new covenant is cleansing out the inside of yourself. Yeah. Getting right. You know what I'm saying? First, on the inward part. And then the outward part being cleansed. Let's grab something real quick. Uh, Luke 12 and 32 says, Fear not, little flock, for this your father's good pleasure to give you the kingdom. Sell that ye have and give alms. Provide yourselves back with which wax not old, a treasure in the heavens that faileth not, where no thief approacheth, neither moth corrupted. Yeah, because but see, how is the embodiment of all these things? A man that was rich, he came down from off the throne and made himself what? Yeah, Poor. Born in a major, yeah. right? Uh, a man that was a king, he made himself what? A peasant, yeah. a servant, you know, uh, riding on donkeys being born, born in a major, he didn't take on those attributes of these great things. So when he came preaching, saying, you know, blessed be the poor, for this is the kingdom of heaven. Again, this was a radical teaching that Yahweh Shai was pushing forth throughout the earth. And a majority of the scribes and the Pharisees and the righteous rulers, the high chief priests, all these men, these, these workers of the law, they couldn't understand it. They didn't understand what it was that he was saying because he was going against uh, traditions against what they was taught. You know, King David was rich. Yeah. Uh, Solomon was Solomon, rich. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Abraham was rich. These Abraham Isaac, had plenty Jacob, of bread. Yeah. Isaac, Jacob. These men died with plenty of wealth. So it was uh, it was normal to equate wealth with blessings. Yeah. Even in the law, when you yeah, go yeah, to the law, yeah, yeah. where it talks about you know um, 
if we do these things, all these great things would be less would be your school bestest. So it wasn't a thing uh, about uh, uh, being rich, uh, associating richness with uh, uh, righteousness. It was a it was a thing. Yeah. So, but when the Lord came and said, "Nah, I'm I'm gonna flip something because I'm trying to see something. Yeah, yeah. I'm trying to see who's really with me." Because yeah. the scripture says, "A friend yeah. cannot be known yeah, in a time of uh, 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 prosperity." I gotta I gotta strip this from you. And then I'm going to see what's in your heart Like yeah. what's in your mind Like how you really think about me If I take Similar to Job mm -hmm. He said Ah yeah The devil tempted The devil was like Yeah you, Job is chilling you give him everything, Yeah he got man. everything Let me just take a Let me put something on him And see Us being stripped Is us And us going back to the heavenly father This is our Job moment You know what I'm saying yeah, So pure intent The Lord's looking at it He's judging you on it Once again That pure mind yeah. You know what I'm saying That pure intent But once again with the, with the riches, you know, men become corrupt after a while. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Your focus is now not on the, <laughs> yeah. the task at hand. You're more focused on what you about to get or what's coming in. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah I got I got 100,000 coming in or whatever. And now your mind's not on doing what's supposed to be done or, or what is right. You're now focused on the game. And that's, and that's wickedness. This is, uh, that's why I can give you some give, give me no poverty, no poverty, no, no, no riches, let's no not forget riches. the, you yeah. know what I'm saying? So give me enough, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to survive, man. That's right. You know? Um, going back, this is um, verse 34, Luke 12 and 34, it says, For where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. So once again, if your treasure here is on earth, your mind's going to be on that type of stuff. All right? But if your treasure is in heaven, and you reaping up the benefit, all right, that's, what, yo, that's why it, it makes sense to, to, to do these things that, 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 that help uh, gain, build up your treasures in heaven, the arms, showing love. Doing these, because guess what? You want to go there. You want to enjoy that. You know what I'm saying? It says, before we have no continual city here, but we seek one to come. come. Why? Because you have possessions that's in, 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 in that realm or in the kingdom of heaven that you want to enjoy. Yep. You ain't got nothing yep. here. And you have patience. Yep. You know, you just say, your patience possesses your soul. soul. Yeah. yeah, patience. Yeah. You know? Yeah. If I mean, I do, if your treasure is here, you're going to want the same kingdom to continue. But if your treasure is out there, you know, you're yeah. gonna, how is your kingdom to be established? That's true. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That's true. You know? That's why he said, he said it's, your, it's his father's good will to give you the kingdom. Yeah. All right? Um, you know, Call yeah. it out, uh, Colossians. Uh, this is Colossians 3. Damn, let me start up. Want me to get it for you? Tom? Yeah, we had to start up a little bit. Yeah, you can start start up at one. Start at the top. We're gonna read down towards uh, fourteen. Which book you want now? Colossians. Uh, Colossians yep. three. Start at verse one. We're gonna read down to fifteen. Come on, this is the book of Colossians three and one. If ye then be risen with Mashiach, seek those things which are above, where Mashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Lord. Once again, if, where your treasure is, that's where your heart's gonna be at. Also. And that's all, that's all the things above, right? It's a, a, a heavenly mindset. Heavenly mindset, yeah. That's right. Go ahead, bro. Set your affection on things above, not on things on earth. For ye are dead, and your life is hid with Mashiach in the Lord. When Mashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then ye shall also appear with him in glory. So when he appears, yeah. that's when that's, you're going to be happy to see the Lord. Yeah. Right? You're going to be happy because you know, if, once again, it says that, that you're going to have that confidence. You know, you're going to have that confidence that when, when you're um, standing in front of the judgment seat, you know that, all right, Lord, I, I did exactly what you asked me to do, right. you know? Right. So why, why, why would you why would you uh, not, you know what I'm saying? It says, why would you be scared? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? If you've done everything that the Lord said to do, yeah. you know? It's, it's like a good thing to, to have the day of the Lord be frightened to you, you know what I'm saying? You should be looking to forward for the day of the Lord. It's like looking forward, hastening the, the coming day of the Lord, yeah. 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 But if you if you if you if you if you've been if you've been uh if what is that right a wavering you know, yeah, yeah, it's gonna yeah, convict yeah, yeah, yeah you're gonna yeah, it's gonna be convicting yeah. you it's gonna, it's gonna convict you that day is gonna be because that's your your trial day yeah, yeah, it's just with no one, one to, to you that yeah, decided yeah, 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 I, can, I already see it I already hear it I already see it I already see it yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, hey hey yo man it tells you when you go down it says mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. That's a, that goes into discipline. Yeah, discipline yeah. yourself. You know what I'm saying? Rule over your 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 your, your body, your, yourself. Going back into what you had mentioned, in your patience, possessing Possess your, your soul. soul. That's right. You know, that's what that's what mortifying the deeds of your member. Contain yourself into that time, man. Yeah. Yeah. You know, yeah, we got we gotta wait on the we, we on the Lord's time, and so in the process of that, just contain yourself. It's all right. We gonna be straight. Oh, yes, 
especially when somebody you comes into the truth. And like let's say they comment on the for video, you don't say, what the fuck are you acting this dumb question? You yeah, know? Like yeah. there's some men out there really that's sincere like, about that one. Yeah, that's just, like they just came, they just know like that there's like seven billion people in the world, you don't expect no one new coming each day and trying to understand. Instead, you're gonna cuss them out, tell them they don't know anything. Talk about we done been through this whole, uh, yeah, yeah. we don't, we don't have to go through it again. Exactly. Exactly. It just says be after teach. Yeah. yeah. Be ready to teach. You gotta make yeah. the same videos every day anyway. It's not that hard. That's right. <laughs> hey, yo, it goes on to say, mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. Fornication, uncleanliness, yeah. inordinate, yeah. affection, evil, um, concupiscence, yeah, and covetousness. Which is idolatry. Yeah. So, like told, bro, those are glitches. Those are gonna cut you from the, the that connection. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? From your from your house, right? you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. Sever you know that, 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 that relationship. Yeah. You know? yeah. Comment. You know what? Ad, oh. That's this is 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 carnal. It's yeah. fleshy. It's selfish. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's, yep. That's not loving. That's Read that again for me, Baba Kasha. It says not, right here. Go ahead. Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth. The deeds of the body. That's why Yahweh Shah, when he came on the scene, he said, Yo, if your eyes cause you to sin, fuck it, fuck it out. Because it's better to enter into the kingdom of heaven blind than it is to go into, uh, it's better to, it, 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 that hellfire for all your members, man. It's telling you the importance of this. And, and also, Paul goes on to tell you that the fight that we have, and the fight is between the flesh and between the spirit, right? Our, it's, who's going to win? All right, because if your if, if your flesh wins, man, <laughs> your flesh is gonna have to suffer that eternal punishment yeah, forever, yeah. forever. But if your spirit wins, flesh and blood cannot enter into the kingdom of heaven. So you gotta have your your spirit must be more dominant than your flesh, yeah. man. It's important because how else is what else is the heavenly Father gonna test us predicated based off of? Right, go ahead, bro. And it goes to show it says which are upon the earth. Yep. Fornication. Yeah, fornication is uh, a sexual. Uh, uh, sexual sins that's what fornication is right and a sexual sin is a sin unto yourself yeah. right but then again you're, you're causing destruction to somebody else the ramifications of adultery is crazy it's crazy when you think about the splitting up of families divorce court yeah. um the the, the children yeah, the psyche yeah. of the children a, a, a child growing up without a father now a single mom yo man this is just the ramifications, and these are things that have any fault. This is attacking the very fabric yep. of what Yahweh set forth when He gave yeah. Adam yeah. and uh, Eve. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. This relationship, two coming together. The, two yeah. coming together the scriptures say, um, let no, let no man cut asunder. Let let asunder. Right. But for you to come along and in your wickedness to commit fornication just to please your flesh, you know, there's there's, there's consequences that you got to pay for and those and things. And that's once again saying, going back to the flesh. That's how Satan, Satan plays on the flesh. Yeah. So if you can't control all those, like you said, mortifying the deeds. Remember, if you can't control these things, you can't control the flesh. Guess what? Satan gonna have his way with you. Giving oh. over to lasciviousness, yeah. you know. Yeah, man, plus, we just read the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Like, like the Scripture lets it be known that the Holy Spirit can't dwell in someone that does those yeah, things. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah it's, it's uncomfortable. You gotta, your, your, your body is a temple that you wanna make the whole, make the Holy Ghost feel comfortable, 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 yeah. welcome. Now. If you don't do that, what happens is the opposite. Where these demons, uh, uh, they're looking around for a place to chill. And they get all comfortable when they get into your party because, yeah, it's all right. Right, right. Yeah, it's party over here. You know how all this goes movies. The party always got yeah, the party over here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That one call, call another one. Yeah, yeah, and the house is all messed up. Yeah, so you want to, you want to, the scriptures say to take the, the thoughts of Satan and make them captives to Yahweh Shai. Yeah. So Satan is the uh, prince of the, 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 the wind. Those thoughts are going to come. Like you say, when you just be random, you think of some wicked shit, you be like, what the fuck? Yeah. That's Satan trying to jump on you, but you're supposed to take those thoughts and shit. rebuke them. Yeah. Get up out of here. You know what I'm saying? Get behind me, Satan. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Remove those. So that your body could be cleansed. Resist the devil and he shall flee. Matter of fact, because the next word is yeah. uncleanliness. Yeah. Yeah, uh, well, that's what uncleanliness is. You know what I'm saying? You feel dirty when you um you take part in those 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 acts and what and whatnot, man. You, you want to grab back? Well, I going back to um, who's that? Haggai. Yeah, yeah. Right when 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 we're told for us to build the the the, the, the temple, yeah. he said first you got to clean your hands first. Yeah. Clean your hands first, and then you could be able to. 
touch those ordinances in the temple. Going back to King David, he wanted to, it was his will for him to build a temple. A temple. But the Lord said, no, too much blood on your hands. I'm going to have Solomon do it. Solomon was raised in peace, so Solomon was able to do that. But the temple was just a, um, a physical thing so that you could understand the spiritual thing. And in the inner court, the Holy of Holies, that's where the Spirit of the Lord dwelt. Exactly. So when, the, when Yahweh Shai departed, all right, he sent us what? The Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, which the Holy Ghost is trying to get up in there. Yeah, yeah. It's trying to get up. And once the Holy Ghost is in there, all right, now the Lord's here. And he's going to tell you, yeah. nah, man, I'm in here. It's man, I've been trying yeah, to yeah. suck with you for the longest time, man. The scripture says what? That the Lord dwelleth not in temples made with... Uh, his, his hands, yep. So, you know, but this, our bodies is a temple. Yep. That's why you know? we Acts in the day of Pentecost, when they when it was uh, they were praying, it was all together, that, and the scripture yeah, that, said, uh, that rush came, that yeah. fire came. But what happened when Solomon erected the temple? Um, a fire came down from heaven yeah. when they gave that sacrifice. That's, that was that symbolic of the Most High. Yeah. And you go into the book of Adam and yeah. uh, uh, the book of uh, Adam and um, the conflict of Adam. Yeah. It tells you that that fire came down in from heaven and devoured a uh, Abel sacrifice. And Cain, Cain is looking over there all mad. But the the the, uh, the Lord didn't accept his sacrifice. But when you go to Acts the second chapter, the reason why those clothes of fire was over their head that was symbolic of the, our bodies being those temples and the Heavenly Father accepting our sacrifice and the Holy Spirit rushed with us. Yeah. So the new covenant and the, the teaching is basically us telling you to cleanse your temple out so that the Holy Spirit could Except, repent, yeah. the Holy Spirit could get up in you. And once the Holy Spirit is in you, man, watch this thing kick into all, it's gonna become natural to you. You're not gonna ask these questions like, oh, uh, damn, can we do this? You know, sometimes, you know, don't get it twisted. You know, we converse with one another, but it's gonna be, your how is gonna be in you and these things is gonna come natural to you, brothers. You brothers is gonna see, That's you know? Says, make your body, present your body a living sacrifice, all right? Once again, that, 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 that um, you know, the spirit dwelling within you, you, you become an acceptance, it says acceptable goodwill, you know? You I'm gonna back you in Galatians 5 and 16, because it says, this I say then, Walk in the spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusteth against the spirit, and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary the one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the spirit, ye are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, Hatred, yeah. you know, variance. You can stand bold and say like those are things that the water Yahweh Hashem Yahshah that are fled from me, that are far from me. Like they, like like we take those those thoughts and we make them captive to Yahweh Shah. Like that's a beautiful thing. But the only how you, the only how this can happen to you unless the spirit of Yahweh Shah is in you. Other than that, it's going to be idolatry is going to be in your realm. That's why we do a lesson talking about idolatry. We get rebuked. We get rebuked for it. You know what I'm saying? But. But when we heard it it, 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 it was like, damn, the scripture does say that. It goes right, back to, right, it's, it's, it's right, going right. to naturally come out. It's yeah. natural, right? And that's the new thing now, AI. Everybody's jumping on AI. Everybody has a picture, image of whom they claim to be Yahweh Shai. Um, yeah, on they the, on be the, waiting uh, for uh, Elvis. 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 <laughs> 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 you niggas got El Elvis, Elba, actors and shit. Like, you guys, wait, and, and the thing about it is, even when he, we could tell you to you blue in the face, but the Heavenly Father is dealing with revelation. He's not dealing with information. And a lot of these guys, they have a lot of information. It's true, but they don't have, the Heavenly Father hasn't revealed himself into them for them to see the, 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 uh, uh, the truth in the matter. Connor, that's scary because here's the consequences of walking after the flesh. It goes on to say wrath, strife, seditions. Can, can you just read from where you was oh, at and no, then read no, it no. to it? Oh, no, I am. Go, go, go back to the, go, go back, yeah, oh, go back to Okay, it. so now the works of the flesh are manifest which are these. Adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, well, variance. Well, let me say this, uh, uh, witchcraft. Telling a man that we're underneath the first covenant, that's witchcraft. And then saying, uh, oh, we keep the laws to the best of your ability, that's witchcraft. That's the reason why Paul said, who have bewitched you, right? Because this is what these men, these men were trying to tell, they were claiming to be underneath the uh, uh, the new covenant, but you had they, in order to be circumcised, yeah. you gotta keep the laws of Moses. That's witchcraft. Yeah, yeah. Witchcraft isn't just making it. Uh, uh, yeah. and just yeah. worshiping, no. You go, go, your brother did a beautiful lesson going into um, the imaginations and, 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 and uh, the things that they, uh, you, you, 
it'll come out. You know, I can't spread it like how you wrote it. But go ahead, bro. It goes on to say. When, yeah. when Moses went up to the to go receive the uh, the law, he came down. What was Israel doing? Israel was worshiping that that golden calf. It, it looked good. <laughs> you know, probably it looked good. Yeah, but it was the wrong thing to do. You know, you the, the scriptures say don't make an image of what's in heaven or beneath. Car and the Lord told us why because He said you start to worship it. You start to yeah. yeah, we don't worship this. We just we do it for edification's sake. But now you go into your office, you got a big old picture of who you think is your house. It's which it's, it's, it's phone. yeah, you got yeah, it on your phone. It's on, your avatar. it's on yeah, your avatar. It, that you go your computer. It's on your screensaver, brothers. It's, it's it, it, you took it in too far now. Yeah, yeah. It's idolatry. Yeah, too far. Yeah. Where they be with themselves, like they thinking they're doing it for good, and all of a sudden they got this, they tricked the whole mind. Right. Like, but, that, oh, but that's how Satan works. Yeah. That, that's how Satan works. Satan works like that. Go ahead, bro. Then it goes on to say variants. Emulations, wrath, strife, or well, emulation is jealousy. Paul said, I, 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 broke my, I broke my people to emulation, and it's work. I mean, I mean, to the point where it, it may you may fall upon that stumbling block because you guys are trying to dictate who can and who can't get into the kingdom of heaven when you don't know. You don't know, and that's where the seditions come in. It says, wrath, strife, seditions. But what when you're teaching out there is just nothing but wrath, it's nothing but strife. Uh, you said uh, James is going off, or you said Paul is going off, or you took out the whole book of Hebrews. And you said you, you keep going back and forth when all y'all are basically lumped up in the same same thing. Uh, same thing. They're still pointing the finger at each other. Fruit the same thing. <laughs> yeah, doing the same shit. Yeah. They're pointing at yeah. each other. Look, he did this. Bible, he said this. Yep. Yeah, it tells you our uh, heresies, what that means. You well, said. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Indians, murders. Yeah, murders. Well, you hate your brother in your heart, oh, I could not, never really trust that nigga. You know what I'm saying? Or, 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 yeah, yeah, oh, that's that's hating your brother in your own heart. That's why the Lord said that I count that as. Hey, yo, it tells you more. You have a council back in '92, yeah, yeah. and y'all arguing about it here in 2024. <laughs> yeah, man, you gotta let that go. Everybody took out the. Somebody gotta forgive. <laughs> somebody gotta forgive somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Somebody has to forgive somebody. Somebody gotta say, I'm gonna let this go. And I'm gonna, you know what I'm saying? Y'all cannot say that y'all are men of the Lord and y'all just going back and forth. After we just read the scriptures, I was said to forgive your enemies. Yeah. Now, all right, y'all are, y'all are enemies. You know what I'm saying? But forgive. But forgive. Yeah. Yeah. Even, even to add on, because the scripture says what it says. If you're doing these things, those are not the fruits of the Holy Spirit. You could say you have the Holy Spirit on camera all day, but the reality is, the scriptures is going to be a witness to that because it goes on to say, yeah, not by the, not, not by the words, yeah. yeah. Hey, yo, here's the thing it tells you though. It says, in such like of the which I tell you before, as I also told you in the times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of the Lord. Yeah, don't let nobody tell you this all right, you're going you to have to just die on this side. You can't come through. No. No, don't roll the dice with your life, bro. This is your salvation. Don't roll the dice. Don't don't um, do these things, man. You know, to, to the people that do these things, they're not going to enter into the heavenly Father's rest. It's in the scriptures. Your name will be brought in out of the life. This is in the scriptures. Just find yourself on the side with the goats. Matter of fact, hey, yo, Anna tells you here, but the fruit of the spirit is love, joy, peace, long suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith. Yeah, when you wake up, man, the first thing you should, the first thing, let me just speak for myself. I cannot but help but to wake up, and that word grace is just running all through me. Grace, 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 grace. I gotta tell that to my kids, like grace. What, what, what is grace? Can we get the definition of grace, Bubba Kishan, please? What is grace, bro? You should be, grace is the sun hitting your face, bro. Grace is breathing oxygen. You don't deserve to breathe oxygen. You know, Grace is having children. Your children running up to you, daddy, daddy's home, and getting a hug and a kiss. Like these, these little minute details of life is what you should be thankful for. The opportunity to have a chance to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yeah, but if I may add, as a brother looks up that that uh, definition, like 
Yo, bro, we don't even deserve that, especially when the scripture says that the name of the Lord was blasphemy through all the nations of the earth because of Israel. So the Lord doing what he's doing is not because of Israel. He's doing it for his name's sake. Like, like, really let that sit in. Keep going, bro. Yeah, it I, says I meekness, it, right. temperance. Against such, there is no law. Yeah, but see these things, right? The law cannot make you have patience. It cannot make you love. have faith. Joy, it peace. can't make you love nobody. Or show mercy. Yeah, or, or, or show mercy. Like the, the law is a thing, yep. right? You have the control, but Yahweh Shai is the man, all right, that we ought to lean on, all right, to understand these things. You guys put put, put this, this a trust into this law, all right? The law is the mirror to show you where you're going off. All right, but it's up to you to correct yourself, to clean yourself, to you to get yourself right. You you guys have placed, just like you do everything else, you place so much emphasis on the Passover and not enough emphasis on the Passover, being Yahweh shine. You place more emphasis on putting the blood on the doorpost with, with, with all while neglecting the fact that he shed his blood, all right, for you and you, you are protected underneath that blood on what the blood is. All right, the day of our atonement. All right, you put emphasis on that day, good, but you got to understand that he made an atonement. For, and the only way to atone for sin is through that blood. The scripture said that the blood is the life of a man. He is that blood. So you negate him all for uh, some teachings. All right, and this is where you err. Go ahead, bro. It tells you to finish this off. And they that are Mashiachs have crucified the flesh with the affections and lust. Yeah, we that are in Yahweh shine. We crucified that old man, that self-willed man, that self-righteous man, that, that walking by sight and neglecting the faith. Those things were crucified to the cross, right? Go ahead. And back to, if we live in the spirit, let us also walk in the spirit. Let us not be desirous of vain glory, provoking one another, envying one another. Yeah, so we live in the spirit, man. You know? By grace are you saved through faith and not of yourselves, so, and faith right. of Yahweh, yep. not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah. That there be men that say, like, you know, we know we're saved because we're, we're doing the work. You know, we're out here doing the work. You know, they brought what the work, how long they did it, but it's just, you know, so it's about faith. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're not, because because if you, if you were saved in accordance to your law or keeping the Sabbath or whatever works that you was doing, it wouldn't be a gift. Yeah. It wouldn't be grace. That means you've done it on your own. Yeah. The whole point is, you're, this is not something that you can do by yourself. Yeah, that's what it constantly tells you that. that you, 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 I brought it out earlier. It says, no man can get to the heavenly father but through Yahweh Shah. Yep. So you have to go that direction. He said he's the door. You have to go through Yahweh Shah. That's what said about vain glory. Men go around puffing themselves up with this vain glory as if they hold the title. They don't need Yahweh Shah. You know what I'm saying? Or minister, like, uh, what's his name? Uh, General Yahana. Yeah, oh, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Basically the saying, yeah. yeah. ISUBK is the home, the of, the home of the truth. Home of the truth. If you ain't an ISUBK, you're not in the truth. truth. Yo, you know, that's you know, when the hypocrisy saying, uh, comes second, in. Second, second after Yahweh's child. Yeah, what is that? Yeah, second, yeah, yeah, second, yeah, 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 second yeah, yeah, yeah. in command. The command under Yahweh's child. Like, like, hold on. You got to go through you to get the Yahweh's child? Right, 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 right. Man, that's the thing with the hypocrisy. You can't call somebody out on it for saying they're the, um, they're the hundred percent the home but hundred percent truth when, when, when you do, do the same, same thing. thing. That's yeah, why the Lord says uh, with, with the door. door. Yeah, with the door. door. Yeah. And, and like somebody yeah. gotta go to you to yeah. get to your house shot. Don't yeah. fear the Lord, and if, fear that's me. That's another thing too. You, you 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 leave the camp, it's like, oh yeah, that's it. Your house shot took your spirit from you, that's it. You're done. Like that's Realize the spirit wasn't with you when you was in the camp. That's what I'm saying, bro. This shit's all off, man. It's all off. It's all messed up. You know, yep. Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Shah is going to suck with you you sit down and you really open up to him, man. He said he knocked, he's at the door, he's knocking. Any man open unto him, he's going to come in and sup. That don't mean you got to sit, you got to be a part of a camp to have access to that. Come on, now. I noticed that all these camps, they may not like each other, but they all say this. Like, if you leave this camp, you're not in the truth. They all say it, though. Yeah, yeah. And it's weird, it's like, it's why they're wired to say it. And it's like, it's, but they don't, you know, it's like, yeah. they, they, they don't get around, but they all say that same thing. Show you, man, the dark spirit that they're coming. That's witchcraft. That's witchcraft. That's messing with the on the mind. You playing on the mind of the people. You got men that are in those camps that believe we're in the new the new covenant. You got men that believe that, but they're petrified to leave the camps. You know? They're petrified to leave the camps. I got that definition for grace. Yeah, but get to the definition for grace. Oh, yeah, man, I had it. Okay, come on, come on. This is grace in the blue letter. I'm going to run it down, too. It says, grace, 
that which affords joy, pleasure, delight, sweetness, charm, lovingness. Yo, a lot of a lot of people that are in the camps that you really don't understand what grace is. You equate grace with just mercy. You know what I'm saying? Mercy is just a, a part of grace, but grace is love, joy, peace. And, and you gotta ask yourself, do I hold these attributes? Or, or when I call through the teach, it, 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 this is, it, it, is this the message that I'm delivering? Am I delivering a message of love, of joy, of peace? Or is it more, fest, uh, more predicated toward hate, you know? And, 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 and wrath, and, 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 and strife, and envy, you know? Go ahead. It says, grace of speech, uh, goodwill, loving kindness, favor. It says, of a merciful kindness by which the Most High exhorting his holy influence upon souls, turns them to Hamashiach. Yes. Keeps, strengthens, increases, then increases them in hum, in, 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 in Christian's faith. Yeah, go ahead. Knowledge, yeah, okay. in Christian <laughs> faith, knowledge, affection, and kindles them to exercise the Christian virtue, right? Yes. Which is the once again a Christian yeah, virtue. Yeah, 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 virtue. Yeah, yeah, love, love, yeah. love, love, loving your your, your adversaries, yeah. loving your brothers, peace. It says, okay. Exhorting the holy influence upon souls to turn them to Hamashiach. The keep. Strengthen, increase them in the Christian faith. We right? are starting out with Hebrews six and nine, right? Yep. Obtaining to what to do to obtain right. salvation. It says, um, uh, it says, uh, what is due to grace? It says, the spiritual condition of one governed by the power of divine grace, yep. the token or proof of grace, benefit, a gift of grace. Right? It that's, says, that's, thanks. That's favor, yeah. man. Thanks for favor. benefits, services, Thanks. favors, yeah. uh, recompense, reward. Yo, your eyes, the fact that you have ability to see, that yeah. is grace. Grace, yeah. and, and this he, this um, humbleness is what needs to be pursued on the children of Israel in order for us to get the hell out of here. You being able to, look, look, how is Shai uh, making, touching, making a blind man being able to see? That's grace, yeah. man. Uh, telling a, a man that's crippled, you could be crippled. Feel you could be, uh, uh, huh? Yeah, those feel good stories. Feel good stories. You like can have no legs. Right in the wheelchair. For an example, yeah, that's, 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 and, 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 that's that man and the Lord come and have a brother heal that man. That man, that man, to jump out of his seat. Yeah, because yeah. that yeah. grace has been bestowed upon him. Teaching the Bible. Yeah, sir. Lord, it's the Bible. All right, yeah. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, man, that's how I go. That grace is gonna be shown to that man that, that you know he was lacking the, the ability to walk. Now, now he jump out of his seat. Now, now how, how how are these things gonna be uh, produced? By through, uh, by through these nuances, yeah. through our belief in Yahweh Shai. Yo, it tells you, the strong definition says, spiritual, especially the divine influence upon the heart and its reflection in the life. Yeah, so these things got to start in your brain and your lahab, and then they're going to have to be manifested. But you're going to have to be willing to accept these things because the faith aspect, the part of it is, Yahweh, when Yahweh Shai is in us, what he's going to do is he's going to manifest his power uh, uh, through us, right, to show that uh, praise and glory throughout the world. And then ultimately to the Gentiles. But it's going to be based off of them that's going to, if they believe, yeah. see, because it's their faith that makes them whole. So the women, the people that receive faith, it was them. It was them. Yeah. They believed and they, oh, let me touch the hem of his garment because yeah, yeah. she believed. Yeah. But if they don't believe, yeah. Gonna work, Nothing's gonna happen. Gonna yeah, it, yeah. Was a, um, it was an account where Yahweh Shah was like, Man, I know I can do this for you, but do you believe right, I can do this for you? Right, <laughs> you know what right, right, like, yeah, right, I can right, do it. And then right. actually, he was healed. Right. You know, so, yeah. have to do my part, but you have to do your part. Yes. yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes, and these, th like, th these things are gonna happen, brothers. Like, they telling you that the year, the hopeful, um, the year, the hopeful, but the year, the hopeful, that. all the prophecies coming to pass. No, but wait, there's more. We don't know a specific time, but we know in these last days there are about to be some miracles that are about to take place. There are about to be some great work. There are about to be some healings because the scriptures say um, this is how you're going to know who the disciples are. They're going to perform these words. There's going to be some men that's going to be risen up and it's going to show forth. And guess what? This is how uh, the men of the Lord are going to be the light unto the Gentiles because they're going to see these works, right? And they're going to say, holy, surely the Most High is with them. Surely the Most High uh, through His Son is in them. And I'm going to go with them. Yeah, yeah. This is a Roman can do this work except the Most High be with them. Yeah. That's what they said. <laughs> hey, even the uh, centurion, yeah. the Roman centurion, when he had seen, uh, when they have, after they put Yahweh Shah to death, they said, surely this, this is, is the Son of, God, of yeah. the living God. They're going to have men making videos about sorcery. You know, they say all that sorcery they're doing. They're, they're Yo, when they said it, Yahweh Shah. They said Yahweh Shah. He was doing Yahweh Shah. Yeah. Hey, man, marvel not. 
Because he said, he said, if they hated me, they're going to hate you too. So it ain't nothing to marvel at, but the scripture says, uh, if he that believeth on me, the works that I do, you so shall do it greater. greater. Yeah, yeah. You know? They want to they wanna, they wanna close the curtain right now. Nah, the curtain is not yeah, about yeah. to close. The it's curtain, the thing is just getting yeah. started, man. The, Lord, the Lord's work is just, is, is about to be made manifest, man. Yo, bro, and the glorifying of the Lord, because I'm going to share a quick dream. I had a dream where this woman, um, her child got stabbed in the face. And I remember I went up to it, man, and I was crying, so I was praying the Lord's name, and the baby went back to hold. And she was like, how'd you do that? I gave her the Lord's name, and yo, she didn't get up off her knees, man. She kept just throwing up praises to the Lord, throwing up praises that's to the Lord. That's that's being bestowed upon, like, that favor. Yeah, bro. Yeah. Uh, Zechariah 8. Yeah, 23. Yeah. Yep. On Zechariah 23. That's that favor, because going even, even for an example, with Elijah, when he went uh, in the time of the famine, the they Lord told him to go to that city right. where that lady was, you know what I'm saying? He could, it could have been any woman, but the Lord had favor upon that woman for her to receive a right, prophet. The right. scripture says he that receive a prophet right. in the name of a prophet right. shall receive a prophet reward. Yeah. She, and she brought him into the house. He, she made the cake, and they, she was sustained. The yeah, Lord right. had shown her, that grace upon her and her household. Man. And she wasn't an Israelite. Yeah. And she wasn't an Israelite. Zachariah, verse 20. Thus said the Lord of hosts, it shall be, it shall yet come to pass, there shall come people in the inhabitant of many cities. Hold on. Just want to get this out. In the back? Yeah, run it back and speak louder, bro. Hold on. Uh, Zachariah, in verse 20. Thus said the Lord of hosts, it shall come, it shall yet come to pass that there shall come people in the inhabitant of many cities. And the inhabitant of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord and to seek the Lord of hosts. I will go also. Yeah. Uh, okay. uh, uh, Zachariah 8 verse 20. Thus said the Lord of hosts, It shall yet come to pass. Yeah, it shall yet come to pass. That there shall come people in the inhabitants of many cities. Yeah, the people, inhabitants of many cities. Go ahead. And the the inhabitant of one city shall go to another, saying, Let us go speedily to pray before the Lord. Go ahead. And to seek the Lord of hosts, I will go also. Wait, how, how do you brothers think that this thing is going to happen? Yo, the, the, the miracles that the Heavenly Father is about to produce through his, his, his friends are about to be on a whole nother level. The same thing like they were in the ancient world, man. It's going to be broadcast on the news. Yeah, yeah. Men being put... Yo, you got to understand, what, yeah, what yeah. Paul did in the ancient world is he... I mean the work that he put in, man. He really that 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 that, that Christian faith was was throughout the whole earth, man. Right. That faith. Yep. The scriptures say when Paul and Barnabas went out there, yep. damn near the whole now, city the yeah. come out, come came out, out to yeah. uh, watch Paul and Barnabas, man. Yep. 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 The yep. next Sabbath they was waiting. Like this was a big thing, yep. man. Yep. Why? Because how does the Heavenly Father work? He shows His power through His men. Yep. Yep. Daniel, um, yep. Joseph. Uh, 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 Paul, Barnabas, the, the twelve. Verse 22. Yet many people in strong nation shall come to seek the Lord of hosts in Jerusalem and to pray before the Lord. Go ahead. Uh, verse 23. Thus said the Lord of hosts, in those days it shall come to pass that ten men shall take hold out of all nations, out of all languages of the nations, even shall take hold of the skirt of him that is a Jew. Yeah, they're gonna take hold of the skirt of him that's a Jew. All these things, the scripture say in the days that power that people it's shall be willing. willing. Yep. All these things are gonna to come to pass. It's gonna be a no no doubt that Yahweh is with these men in that's particular, right. man. Says, then shall they know who am I chosen? Yep. So they have to stand out. You know what I'm saying? The Lord's gonna allow something to happen once again, which is those miracles. And the Lord working through his men that these people are gonna stick out like a sore thumb. Yeah. Like, yo, that's them right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. No, they gonna, yeah. gonna be like, yo, man, yeah. we y'all going. Yeah. We coming with y'all. We don't care where y'all going, but that's gonna be the spirit. Like but I heard about what y'all was doing. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Huh. Same yeah. thing, same thing in um, I can add, uh, when we was in Egypt, there was like some divine things that was taking place yeah. Yeah. in the land of Egypt. And they know it was known of why these why these things was happening. So when the children of Israel left, they said to hell with that. I'm yeah. out of here too. Because there was a separation even in Egypt, right? When it was like the uh, it was darkness in Egypt, but the children of Israel had light. Right. So they went right, to right, right, like, hold right, on, why right. is this shit happening right, with them? Right, you know right, what? Right. I'm signed with these guys. Right, right, right. Hey, 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 yo man, if I may add, here you had Rahab 
that didn't even witness it but feared what this. more the Egyptians that was there and witnessed the plagues yeah. and stuff yeah. that didn't fear like yo I'm a part of here yeah it tells you Pharaoh's daughter yeah. Yeah. It tells Pharaoh's you that the plagues left. didn't even but our but our but our for her yeah, maybe because yeah. she had took care of Moses, Moses. Yeah. 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 the Lord took care of her Lord yeah, took care of her worst, yeah the most unrighteous we just we just over it right the most is unrighteous with the work and they were yeah <laughs> Even though when you have a was doing the miracles, everybody, it was bringing out everybody. It was like everybody, everybody. that needed to be healed. <laughs> yeah. It was like, yo, line up. That's why the woman, um, she came from Canaan. She searched your house out. Mm -hmm. you, it wasn't she just happened to stumble across him and just, hey, let me, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. She searched that man out. Yeah, she she heard right. about the, the, the world had heard about the fame and what your was was doing. Even, um, can we go to, um, can we go to, can we go to John? Oh, is that John 8? Uh, John 8 and 11, the Soterian, all right, that went to Yahweh's shine and said, look, my son is sick. I think it's, you got to start at like maybe maybe 7, John 8 and 7, if I'm not mistaken. Like sometimes we don't understand or we, we overthink it, but this man had multitudes of, of people following him. Go ahead, bro. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him, saying, Lord, if thou will, thou can make me clean. And Yahweh Shai put forth his hand and touched him, saying, Now, mind you, right, it wasn't lawful to even touch a, a leper. leper. Yep, yep, that's the Lord. Yep. So, God forbid a, a Pharisee was there. Oh, he's unclean, he's yeah, unclean. Get him out of here. You know, go ahead, bro. Yeah, probably got back to his ear. <laughs> He's out there touching lepers. Yeah. <laughs> you niggas gonna be destroyed. He <laughs> called, this is in Yahweh shot, put forth his hand and touched him, saying, I will be thou clean. And immediately his leprosy was cleansed. Now, it was his faith that cleansed his leprosy. Yahweh shot had the power. He's gonna give his men the power, but it's gonna be predicated based off of these people's faith that makes them believe. I got some real quick. This is Luke, Luke 5. I'm going to start at verse 17. And it came to pass on a certain day as he was teaching that, the, that there were Pharisees and doctors of the law sitting by, which were come out of every town of Galilee, Judea, and Jerusalem. And the power of the Lord was present to heal them. You see, they come out of every town. This is not, this is a big event. Yep, yep. This is a big thing that's going on here, yep. right? Go ahead. Verse 18. And behold, men brought in a bed a man which was taken by palsy, which him being paralyzed, yep. and they sought means to bring him in and to lay him before him. And when they could not find by what way they might bring him in, yep. because of the multitude, all yep. the people, right? Yep, yep. They said they went upon the housetop yep, and let him down through the tilling with his couch into the mist before Yahweh shot. Yeah. Think about it. They brought this <laughs> man at yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. they, cl yeah. they, they climbed up and yeah. they pulled his ass <laughs> and they peeled back the house yeah. just so they can drop him in there so yeah. Yahweh shot can see him. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It says, that's, right. That's, that's how much shit high level had. faith. Like, high so much faith, faith, you look crazy. Yeah. That's the type of faith you gotta no, have. Don't drop me, don't drop me. Right? It says, and when he saw their faith, he said unto him, man, thy sins are forgiven thee. And the scribes and the Pharisees begin to reason, saying, Who is this who speaking blasphemy? And who can forgive sins but the Most High Lord? Well, well, if they had listened to Moses, they would have known that there was an angel that was going to come that was going to be able to forgive sins. Yeah. You know, it talks about that in, in their in they law. They didn't even get to speak to Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Shah just seemed like, oh, shit. Oh, y'all yeah, yeah, really believe. All right, cool. Everything, uh, y'all set. <laughs> hey, plus it tells you in, in the account, I don't know if it was him, when they were trying to accuse Yahweh Shah, when the Pharisees had him, it told you that somebody that he paralyzed was standing there with Yahweh Shah, and they're like, they couldn't. Yeah, yeah, man, they couldn't even deny that. But it goes on to say, um, um, and Yahweh Shah <laughs> said unto him, see thou tell no man. But go thy way, show thyself to the priest, and offer the gift that Moses commanded for a testimony unto them. Go ahead. And for, when Yahweh, hey, it's for a testimony unto them. Yes. Go ahead. And when Yahweh Shai and when Yahweh Shai was entered into Capernaum, 
they came unto him a centurion beseeching him and saying lord my servant life at home sick yeah that was a greek all right and all every greek is not an edomite all right that was a greek that word greek, greek goes back to javan javan all right so it's, go ahead it says in saying lord my servant life at home sick of the palsy grievously tormented and Yahweh shall I say unto him, I will come and heal him. You know why he went to him? Because he had heard. The people of the world had heard of the fame of Yahweh Shah Hamachiah and the wonderful works that he was doing and healing people and raising people from the dead, cleansing them from their leopard. Right? This is the testimony of Yahweh Shah Hamachiah. They had heard of these things and they believed. So they sought him out. Go ahead, bro. It says the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. Go ahead. But speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Yeah, the reason because he had a lot of blood on his hands, man. He felt that he wasn't worthy, all right, for such things. Go ahead. And it says, For I am a man under authority, yep. having sh sh soldiers under me. So you know he snapped a finger and pointed, and men will put to death. Yeah, yeah. And I say to this man, Go, and he goeth, and to another come, and he cometh. Go ahead. And to my servant, do this and he do with it. Yep. When Yahweh Shai heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. But you know that wasn't uh, Israelite. That's how you know that whoever whoever this centurion was, he wasn't an Israelite. Because he said, Damn, I ain't haven't even found this much faith to where somebody knew they wasn't they so called wasn't shit. I'll say it like that, right? They knew that they wasn't right, right? But he still believed. Plus the whole thing about the congregation. Jews didn't like to congregate with, with our people that was outside yeah. of our race. So even he had knew, like, Lord, man, you're not even worthy to come to my grave. Let him know that too. But also the Lord solidifies that because he says, and I say unto you, that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven. That's why he made that's how you know two, two things he made this statement. For he said, he, you know that this person wasn't an Israelite because he said I have not found such great faith no not in Israel and then he goes on to make the statement read it again and I say unto you matter of fact verily I say unto you I have not found so great faith no not in Israel and I say unto you that many shall come from the east and west and shall sit down with Abraham and Isaac and Jacob in the kingdom of heaven but the children of the kingdom shall be cast out into outer darkness there shall be weeping and gnashing of teeth. Were you, were you in a blue letter? Nope, but I can get it from you. No, I was going to get the, the, the definition of weeping and gnashing of teeth. But no, that's fine. No, I'm actually right here. It's, if, if, if it's for edification, Matthew 8, yeah. when you go so down to... I think they got a spot in the right, kingdom. Right, right. You asked out. <laughs> so now, the children weeping, of the kingdom yeah. will be uh, cast, cast out. out. Out of darkness. Calm. Your yes, name no. is going to be blotted yeah. out of the yeah. book of life. Cut off from big cut off from big guys people. Well, well, well like Paul oh, said, well, 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 a curse. Um, you know, and get get Jeremiah 17 and 4 real quick. Yeah, yeah. That's that's also in Acts 2. Acts, oh yeah. Uh, uh, Acts? Yeah. yeah. So to grab you, weeping in the blue letter is lamentation. And then when you go back, gnashing is a gnashing of teeth used to denote extreme anguish and utter despair of men. Co-signed to eternal punishment in hell. What it says, um, Hebrews 12, it says, though he started carefully with tears, he was rejected. rejected. So these men that was promised the kingdom that rejected it, once you ain't no listen, them cries and all that, hey, that's it. You can't, that, it's not gonna help you, man. Matter of fact, how wish I said, those that were bidden for the supper, they shall they not taste yeah. of that supper. Yeah. They shall not taste of that supper. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Paul they, said they are cursed. If you can look up that word of cursed. The deal is set. That's my quick bro. Go ahead, bro. Uh, this is Acts 3, verse 22. Okay. Moses said, The Lord your power will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. Listen carefully to everything he tells you. Then Moses said, Anyone who will not listen to the prophet will be completely cut off from God's people. Mm. Mm. And then he'll tell you that you can't be cut off from yeah, God's yeah, people. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey, yo, the back you real quick. Um, the, yeah, Jeremiah 17.4. Hold on, you want me to get the curse real quick? No, get okay. Jeremiah 17.4. Jeremiah 17.4. Through your own fault, you will lose the inheritance I gave you. I will enslave you to your enemies in a land you do not know, where you have kindled my anger, and it will burn forever. 
So your own fault you're gonna lose the inheritance. Hello. You get this day? Choose ye life or death? Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Yep, choose ye life or death, man. You got, you, yep, discontinue. That's how you're gonna discontinue. Not us forgetting our national your heritage is what's gonna be passed down to you concerning the uh the land. Us going into uh, 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 the promised land. Not everybody's going. That's why he said, not everybody's going to enter into my rest. Plus he said that two thirds shall be cut off. And, and die. Yep. The promise, the heritage. Go on, Yeshua. It's kind of like symbolic when Moses died before he was able to enter the yeah, promised land. that's exactly land. what it is. So going into when there's going to be some of the nation of Israel is not going to be able to make it. Yep. Follow into the kingdom. Especially, you said, following, the, following the laws of Moses, right? Yep. Yep. Yes. And that's why Joshua, Joshua was able to go into the kingdom. Joshua, Joshua and, and Caleb. And Caleb. Caleb. That was your outside. Yeah. Yep. And, and, and Caleb represented what? The faithful. Yep. Says, this, you know new, this new and, generation, and, 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 we should not, this new generation that will, that will come out to Moses. Yep. You know? I, said, I swore in my, yeah. in my anger that they should not enter into, into my rest. rest. Yeah. And you were going to say something? No, I was going to say, um, you got uh, Rahab, which Rahab was uh, not an Israelite, bro. Rahab was not an Israelite. All right, but she was a, 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 a heathen. Well, heathen is a non-believer, so she was a believer. Yeah. The fear of Yahweh Shai was in her on her wholeheartedly, right? So Rahab, um, she 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 said, "My life for your life." All right. So Rahab found um, favor and mercy. All right, um, in Yahweh Shai. So they spared her life. Yeah. Matter of fact, it gets a blue letter because the Lord said. Everything other than Rahab in that village from the people to the animals were a curse. The word a curse is a thing devoted to the Lord without hope of being redeemed. And if an animal to be slain, therefore a person or thing doomed to destruction. Who was, do, who was set aside uh, for righteousness? Who was planted a, a, hope, a holy and noble vine? Israel. But it said, how art thou become a strange and degenerate plant? Right? So that's what happened. And it says those broken like the, branches. Yeah, and Jake like the about, well, we are chosen, we yeah. special people. Yeah. Like, you don't understand, bro. Yeah, like, you don't. yo, Amen. listen, you better be humble. You got to be even more humble than the other nations. Because you, the Lord came unto, he said he came unto his own. And y'all rejected him. So at the end of the day, we're supposed to be even more humble. And y'all blasphemy this holy in name. That position yeah. of, 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 the, of the killers of not just the prophets, but the killers of Yahweh Shai. He yeah. said, let let his blood be on uh, our children. children. Yep. Yeah. You may, you may, you may be cursed to that damnation. And you, you guys that reject, um, you guys reject the new covenant. That's essentially what you're doing. You're rejecting the Holy shine. Spirit. Yeah. You're rejecting your house. You're rejecting His blood. You, and you, you you're guys, the world's children. Yeah. You're the children of those that killed the prophets. Yeah, roughly. Yeah. 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 I was pushing the new covenant, and they was rejecting them live on the, on the spot. And the yeah. apostles was pushing yeah. what the new covenant, and what yeah. was they doing? Yeah. They, were, how, uh, they were putting <laughs> them to death, persecuting, persecuting them. Yeah, they reject eternal life. Yeah, yeah. By, you reject your house. I reject yeah. eternal life. Yeah, but yeah. I was gonna say there's many ways of keeping yourself humble. Like the scripture said that the centurion had more faith in Israel mm -hmm. than and then all of Israel. Yeah, yeah. And you got not only that, but our people gave up Yahweh Shai. Yeah. But you know, people shout and prayed around like, yeah, we're Israel. He, by the same time our people are fucked up, but yeah. at the same time we may be chosen, but we our people we have a history yeah, of yeah. doing some wicked, you know, yeah. like just and that's why it goes it. back to what? The individual, right? Yeah. It goes back into the law of work. Like, you got to get yourself right. Get yourself you know what I'm saying? Yep. Individually, if we all get ourselves right, that's what it says. When two or three gathered in the, in the name of Yahweh Shah, he's in the midst thereof. So once again, you having that mindset of Yahweh Shah amongst brothers of Yahweh Shah, he's here. All right? That's the, that's the thing he said, the kingdom dwelleth within you. You got a portion of the kingdom right here. Right? But once again, these people stay on because... The Lord said that they was chosen, especially He didn't say He chose you because you were some mighty people, you were right, some great right. people. No, He chose because of the oath He made with your father. Right. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, the same way He can make us His, uh, his chosen, He can straight just get rid of you. Right? He, you he can that. break that branch off. Yeah. Hey. Make a fire. Yo, yo, bro, plus the scripture tells you, it says that, um, I had mentioned it earlier while you was talking, it says that the name of the Lord is blasphemy to both the, the heathen, um, because of heathen, but the Lord said He's not delivering us for our sake. He's delivering us for his name's sake. That's why he's only delivering a remnant because he said we all should have been as Sodom and Gomorrah. He would have wiped us all out. And yeah. this wiping us out is not dying by a nuke. That's a carnal weapon, bro. The Lord told us not to fear men that could kill us with carnal weapons. What we're speaking of is about the Something destruction of your soul. Of your soul. Yep. And he said what? In that same same uh same verse, he said, "But fear him that can uh, destroy both body and soul in hell." Yep. When you look up what hell is, it says Gehenna. 
which is referenced into a place where they used to burn animals and yep. trash. Yep. So basically, those that that lake of fire, you once you enter, you're trash. You're, trash. you're not. You're, yeah. you're yeah. worthless yeah. to the Lord. You're trash. You're trash. Yep. Trash. They, yeah. Yep. That's yeah. it. You're worthless, man. Say that why you think Yahweh said to um to his father, Father, forgive them, they know not what they do because he already had in their mind what he's gonna do to them, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. can I, can I add something to that? Yeah. Likewise, like the parables and the connection between Moses and Yahweh Shai, right? Moses, when he supped with the people, you know what I'm saying? The 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 uh, uh, Yahweh was ready to destroy us all. Yeah, yeah. Moses had to sub with them, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. He had yeah. yeah. you know what I'm saying, had to, you know, because without him, none of us have a chance, no matter if you King David, if you Moses, if you John the Baptist, none of us got a chance. You know, so we need that mediator. And yo, plus if I may add, even when Moses went up, even when Moses went up to plead, the Lord had already told him that some men's name was blotted yeah, out the yeah, book yeah, of life. Yeah, exactly, yeah. To show you, yeah, and it was going to what idolatry. That first sin was idolatry. A lot of you men, you guys, that, that spirit of idolatry is a spirit of man worship. Man, you guys, man, you guys gain glory in men. Y'all put men above. Y'all put the fake. Y'all put the, y all, y all put the, the men that you deem to be apostles above the real apostles to the point where they'll say these apostles was going off. You fall under that category of those that the Lord's like, yo, listen, I, I don't even know why I made these people. Right, right. So you gotta stop, you gotta put that fear in the Lord that it gotta it gotta be within you, man. Or you're gonna be cast out for sure. What you got, bro? I had Ezekiel 36 for proof only because I've been doing it, or do you want me to end it with the decision of Isaiah? Say, end it with the decision of Isaiah. Okay, come on. So let's get into his 12 disciples and they will teach all the nations and every tongue of the resurrection of the Lord yeah, and that's what happened because what the hell you guys want to say that's what happened Paul was the uh, apostle to the Gentiles and this word was spread throughout the whole ancient world and this happens not just because of the scattered Jews that was in these nations but because kingdoms transformed because the whole kings translated their kingdoms to this. These, these uh, policy, uh, buildings that you see around the world was because of the works of Paul and Christianity throughout the 12. Continue on. And those who believe in his cross will be saved and his ascension into the seventh heaven whence he came. Go ahead. And that many who believe in him And the scriptures be... tell you there's neither Greek nor Jew, whoever so, in so many ways, just to tell you so many times that whoever shall believe on his uh, uh, life, death, and resurrection shall be saved. Go ahead, bro. And that many who believe in him will speak through the Holy Spirit. And this is this is what happened. The Holy Spirit has been placed upon men and, and his word is being spoken. And many signs and wonders will be wrought in those days. Yeah, a lot of signs and wonders happen in the ancient world and we're looking to, for the people to get their faith up. All right, so these signs and these wonders can be performed through the men of the Lord again. Go ahead, bro. And afterwards, on the eve of his approach, his disciples will forsake the teachings of the 12 apostles and their faith and their love and their purity. Yeah, a lot of men are forsaking the teachings of the 12 apostles, of the, the teaching of the scriptures. They love their purity. So the purity is being cleansed, man. Not not indulging with uh, 
uh, fornication.